rationalization of numerator it is a huge topic very important especially when you're trying to do instantaneous rate of change even when you do pre-calculus or calculus so it finds a lot of importance in advanced functions too right so in all these areas wherever you have radical you'll find rationalization as a very important tool to solve okay the basic concept here is that if you have let's say a plus b times a minus b so what do you get when you multiply a times a it is a square right and when you do a times minus b you get minus a b and when you do b times a you get a b right i can write b a and a b same thing correct and when you do b times minus b you get minus b square correct now here in the center is minus a b and plus a b which is zero so ultimately what you get is a square minus b square so when you have a product of sum and difference then what you get is difference of squares and this is like used for factoring right and we use for rationalization so rationalization what happens is that let's say we have square root of a plus square root of b and when you rationalize it that means you are multiplying it by its conjugate this term is called its conjugate so so you multiply by square root of a minus square root of b right and when you do that you get a square minus b square square of square root let me first write this like this square right minus square root of b square right which is a minus b do you see square of square root is just the number a so in the process what you have done is you have removed the radical and that is the huge application once you do that it's so easy to simplify correct and let's take some examples so that you appreciate how easily we can adopt this method and simplify uh, let's take a simple example let's say we have square root of x minus 3 divided by x minus 9 okay now to rationalize it what will you do so I'll put that in red for you to rationalize we'll multiply and divide by the conjugate and this the radical is in the numerator so it makes point to you know rationalize the numerator so we do square root of x plus 3 over square root of x plus 3 correct and when you do that then what do you get in the numerator you get square of this term minus square of this term square of square root is just the number x the variable x and minus 3 square is 9 right and you get this and the denominator we have x minus 9 times uh, the conjugate right that's what we get now x minus 9 can cancel out and it simplifies to square root of x plus 3 right always remember when you do these kinds of questions you should write your restrictions that x is not equal to 9 okay because that is not permitted if you write x equals to 9 you get 9 square root is 3 and 3 minus is 0 and 9 minus 9 is 0 so you get 0 over 0 which is indeterminate so undefined so you cannot have this right the idea is to get rid of this term do you see that and at times most important is to get rid of the radicals.